Hey everyone, uh, we've got a laptop here that um, I basically need to do a migration from the standard slimline laptop 500 gigabyte drive. Uh, the laptop itself is moderately old, but it's not beyond useful age, but the hard drive is definitely letting it down at this point. It's only posting around about 60 to 70 um, megabyte a second, and that's at its good places. So it's not failing, but really for the modern software that we're using, it'd be nice to bump up to a solid state. So for the solid state, we're going to go up to a nice Samsung 250. Now obviously the first thing that comes to mind is that this is a 500 gig drive, so is it going to fit on 250? I've already checked it. It only has about 90 gigs of use space on here. It's basically just email, internet, things like that. Um, so migrating it to the 250 isn't going to be a major issue in terms of trying to find space but there's still a certain number of steps that have to be done. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, the first step I'm going to do is now that I've actually taken this drive out, uh, which was, I must say, a pain in the absolute posterior because this is one of the new sort of style laptops where you have to take the whole thing apart just to get to the hard drive instead of having a nice bay available on the outside. These sort of laptops are really ticking me off lately, but yeah, that's the way it goes. And people complain about MacBooks being hard, really. These modern laptops are just killing me. Alright, and what we've got is we've got this caddy converter. I'm going to put this into here. This will now go into my recovery server. I'll make a DD rescue image of this disk. And from there, we'll start the process of migrating it to the solid state. All right, we've done our clone of the original 500 gig hard drive. We can have a look at that. You can see, here we go, 466, which is obviously the um, base two gigabyte. And everything went nice and clean. Now what we need to do is we need to mount this as a loopback device. We then need to repartition it and shuffle everything down so we can fit it in under 250 or 240 gigs. So first thing we do is uh, set up the loopback. So see what's available. Loop zero is available. Zero image. Probe it. Okay, now to run Gparted, we do have to do it as a, because I'm doing this over um, secure, X over secure shell, I have to do it as a normal user, sudoed. So, sudo Gparted. And let's hope it actually was closed off properly, the drive that is shut down properly. Because if it isn't, we've got more fun ahead of us. And we're lucky. Alright, so this here is the main petition. And we've got the recovery one at the end there. We will preserve that uh, just for the sake of, well, not deleting data randomly. So even though it's showing our usage here is what have we got? 149. Okay, I was off when I thought it was 89. That was another customer. Um, the data is actually scattered across all this area here. So when we re shrink this down, it actually has to um, defrag it all back down so it fits in the area. So we'll resize this. And we're just going to go fairly close to the minimum so that we don't have to transfer quite as much. That should about do it. But you see, we don't want to go too compact, otherwise it has to spend too much time trying to uh, pack everything in when it pulls out all the pieces that are floating around. OK, so we set that. Now, with Gparted, sometimes I find it misbehaves if I try to do too many items in sequence. So in this particular case, I just like to do one at a time. So we just apply. Apply. I'm hoping that not too many bits of stuff are floating around there. And hopefully we don't get any errors. 
Oh, this looks like it's doing a real recess. It is something to be watching out for if you have ever used G Powder before and you tried doing this and you found that for some reason your drive is just taking a long time to do the resize when you've had previous ones that have happened quickly. It's because of all this uh, repacking of the data that's going on. So it's not something going wrong with the software, it's not something wrong with the drive, it's just simply taking a lot longer to repack things. Whereas if everything's already packed as close as possible at the front, then there isn't a big issue, which should happen fairly quickly. I do wish there was a little bit more of a progress indicator on this. I only found out um, just by random con uh, coincidences that this is what was taking so long. Oh, look at that. After expanding all the items, I actually do get a percentage. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a new thing, because I don't recall having ever seen this before when I've tried digging down into it. But uh, looks like that's going to be taking a little bit of time. Anticipated, but we're done. And uh, the petition's now being resized. So I'll close that. Just waiting for it to resync. All right, now we just need to move this one up to here. Just be careful when you're dragging that across, you don't accidentally grab onto one of these resize grabbers. <coughs> you do that, cancel out completely, uh, and then retry it. Otherwise, what will happen is it will resize it, then shift it, and you'll just waste a bunch of time. Uh, resize, okay, apply, yes, fortunately this one's quite compact, it's only half a gigabyte. Close. Alright, now we can actually migrate this whole portion over to the solid state drive. Turning on the SSD. There we go, it's already showing up. 250 gigs. There we go. 250. So, all we need to do is copy this back. Just if you're, if you're feeling not entirely confident with DDRS, you just add the ask flag. And it will uh, sit here and it will say OK. So we're going to copy from the image file to the Samsung and proceed. Now even though it's going to try and copy 500 gigs across, it will get to the end of the Samsung drive and it will simply quit out and say no more space left on device, which isn't a problem at all. And after it's done that, we will then shift those partitions back to maximize the use on the solid state drive. All right, we've finished doing the transfer over to the solid state drive. We can see it basically went to the limit of the drive itself and terminated, which is fine. That's what we expected. That's why we did the shuffling out to the front of the uh, image with all the data. Alright, so now we're going to switch over and try and re-shuffle um, those partitions on the solid state drive. Let's see, let's hope this works. Hello, what's going on here?
Ah, okay. Well, what's happened here is the um, petition table on the drive is a GPT, so we actually need to go and repair it before we can do our uh, reshuffling. So to do this, yes. what was happening is it was trying to read beyond the end of the device. And we need to go into expert mode. Expert mode. Extra functionality. I always seem to forget this every single time. <laughs> um, I think I'll just do a straight right. Yep. That's right. There we go. I don't know why I forget this every time. Alright, so we went too far off. So let's just move this to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apply. That should happen almost instantaneously. And finally, we stretch out this one. And because we're stretching it out, it happens a lot quicker than the compaction because we don't have to move any of the data within the petition. Okay, that's great. It's all done now. So, quit out of that. Turn off the drive, and now we can put it back in the system.